welcome. It has been such a beautiful sunny week in my corner of the UK and we've been making summery cakes at Sugar Street including this one which is a, a seaside themed cake. Um, I'm not going to show you how to make the cake but what we are going to talk about this week is modelling chocolate and we're going to be making this chocolate starfish um, and let's get going let's see how let's see how it turns out <laughs> starfish and one of the elements from this cake. Um, this the crab and the shells and the starfish here have all been made from chocolate. Um, but instead of me showing you how to make a chocolate starfish, I thought it would be quite fun um, if I, someone else showed you how to do it. And that someone else in question is the lovely Lucinda, uh, who is coming to Sugar Street to do work experience. Now, she has never done any cake decorating before. She's never worked with chocolate before. This was brand new and poor thing, I totally sprung it on her and said, we're gonna film you making a chocolate starfish. She was like, oh, oh okay, okay. It's a very on the hoof kind of video, uh, this one. Um, but it will give you some sense of what the medium is like if you haven't used it before. Let's get going, let's see how, let's see how it turns out. Let's see if Lucinda survived. Can you show me, I've put some bits and pieces, I've some tools in front of you. What, what have you got there? Tell me what you think you've got there, even if you don't know what you've got there. You have a nozzle. Yep. Yep, those are petal dusts, yep. Okay, so hold that up for me. Yeah, so that, we're going to use the pointy end of that and that's called a blade tool, okay? And we're going we're gonna to use that to help us with our starfish. Um, we've got a little work mat to work on there. Mm -hmm. And do you want to have a look, open up what's inside that tub? White sculpting chocolate. White sculpting chocolate, okay. Why don't you unwrap it? Have you ever worked with chocolate before? Mm -hmm. Sculpting chocolate before? No. Okay. All right, take it out of its wrapper and tell me how it feels. Like hard. Hard, yeah? Okay, all right. What we need to do is we need to knead that, but as it stands, you probably won't be able to do it. Okay. So let's pop it in the microwave. How's that feeling? So that part's a bit hard. So parts of it are hard and parts yeah. of it are soft. So you now need to knead it so it all feels the same, okay? So is that feeling softer? Yeah. So the reason that we use modelling chocolate, or that I'm going to use modelling chocolate for my models, is that it's a brilliant material for beginners, for people that have never modelled before, because, because it's so soft, it blends together really well, so you don't get joins and seams. So I'm going to do you a swap. I'm going to give you this. I've coloured it with a bit of uh, gel paste, okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to roll it out quite thick. Okay. So, perfect. I would stop at that thickness. Now, if you take the star, that's like a regular big star okay. cutter, yeah? And just cut it out. That's it. And then, exactly well done you've done this before haven't you that's the easiest way to do that okay so you need to um make little incisions in between the points of the star so let's gently turn it upside down okay and what what we want to do is just sort of section out those five parts of the of the starfish's arms basically so you just want a gentle push with your thumb just a gentle one that's it Okay, all right. We're gonna roll and pinch the, I don't know what they are, starfish arms, starfish legs? Yeah, arms. Together, arms. So it, we're making a flower. Don't worry about it being neat at the moment.
So this is my starfish here. So what you want to do is you want to use your fingers just to sort of taper down the edges. And also you get lots of different types of starfish. You yeah. get some really fat ones, you get some really spindly ones as well. Yeah. So, you know, work with what you've got. If you find that it's looking more spindly, then that's fine. We'll make okay. a spindly one, okay? Remember, we want to keep that hump in the middle. Yeah. Yeah? So we should have a nice starfishy shape. No. to use a nozzle tip you can see that this is a number three it's just got a hole I'm, I'm going to show you first on mine and then you can go ahead and do it and I'm going to hold the nozzle tip at an angle and just going alongside the ridges that we made just going to go all the way down yeah. in lines basically can you see that yeah What I want to do is I just want to use this tool, so have a look at what I'm doing, just on its side edge, just by sort of pushing and making sort of irregular sucker marks almost at the bottom okay. of our starfish arms, just to give it a little bit more realism. Okay. All right. There he is. And once you're ready with that, what we're going to do is we're going to take some little pieces, tiny itty bitty, bitty 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 little balls yeah. and we're going to place them, they don't have to be the same size and you want them teeny 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 tiny, they're kind of like warts, warts on the starfish. Now because it's chocolate it should self stick, so you want really tiny, tiny little, little ones. So in here, these are called petal dusts, okay. and they're basically edible pigments, edible dusts. Um, and if we mix them with, um, this is food grade alcohol, it turns into a paint. I'm going to show you, I'm going to squeeze that in, and I'm going to take a little bit of dust on my brush, and can you see as I mix yeah. it, it's turning into a paint. Um, and then you can just paint it on. One last thing to do, Ufinda, which is to make our starfish slightly shiny. And um, that is basically, uh, it's like a edible glaze in a spray yeah. can. So if you give it a good shake, and then give your starfish a really good, generous spray, okay. and that's going to make him nice and shiny. chocolate starfish this is it this here actually is Lucinda's finished chocolate starfish now she said to me she wasn't all that happy with it she didn't particularly like the shape she wanted to have another go at it but I think for somebody who has never ever picked up modeling chocolates never picked up cake modeling tools has not ever seen petal dust or any of that stuff I think that is a pretty good stab so I hope if you're new to modeling chocolate we have tempted you to have a go at trying it the links for everything that I use are down below um, so just have a look you can click on them and that'll take you directly through to the products that I use anyway I hope where you are the sun is shining and uh, you enjoy the rest of your week bye Youth with lots of food